Hello and welcome. My name is Fanuel. I'm Smart Charging Coach at Vector. And I will show you today how you can charge and discharge your electric vehicle with the new ISO 15118-20 protocol in Canoe. So let's start the Canoe simulation. You will see here a new bidirectional power transfer button. And if this button is activated in dynamic mode, you can charge or discharge um, your electric vehicle on the charging station side. So let's plug in and wait till the communication is in the charging loop. And in the charging loop, I will show you a nice new feature in Canoe. Um, because you have now the possibility to track and drop the values from the trace inside a graphic window or a data field. So now the value is still zero amps. So I will increase the current now and you will see the value ramps up. And we are charging. So the progress bar goes also up. I can also decrease the value and you see it's also decreasing here in the window. And I will switch now to discharging. See now we transmit now negative values because we are discharging the electric vehicle. And the progress bar goes also down. So I will stop now the communication on the electric vehicle side. And I would like to show you now the new communication setup because of the new because due to the new communication setup, this here is possible that you can track and drop the values inside graphic windows. So in the previous uh, sample configuration, we use simulation setup and now we use communication setup. So in the communication setup, you see here your object for the electric vehicle and your object for the charging station, the AVSE. The Ethernet configuration can be done in this view here. We only support um, network-based and not channel-based anymore. And you can edit the attributes of your electric vehicle and your charging station with the smart charging configurator. So you can configure your electric vehicle and your charging station in this view. So if you want to uh, test your electric vehicle ECU, you can remove the electric vehicle object here because you have a real ECU. You remove here your electric vehicle couple file, also for the VT card. And you remove here also the VT card for your electric vehicle. So now you can connect your um, electric vehicle directly to the VT card and test your implementation with our canoe simulation. So thank you very much for your time. I hope we see a lot of more new cars that support the new ISO 1518-20 protocol for bidirectional power transfer. And hopefully we see you soon. Bye-bye.